What's up? This is Great Dane. I'm an instructor here at 343 Labs. I want to show you how I used delay and some really simple automation in Ableton to create the chorus out of a relatively short vocal sample for my track, Whoa Now. So yeah, I mean, this is a really interesting uh, vocal line and it, it almost sounds like I just ripped it and made a remix of it. But if, when I show you the original vocal, I think um, it gets a little more impressive and a little more like cool to see how it was made. So I just made an audio track underneath. This is uh, this is the fully finished product of what it sounds like. So you can see that there's these gaps here, these empty spaces and I'm using the delay automation to fill that in and give it kind of a musical phrasing and the auto tune is definitely really helping as well. Here's the original. That's it. It's just a pretty short vocal chop. Don't ask me where I got it. That's classified. I heard that and I felt like it had a lot of potential and I felt like if I could somehow give it some rhythm and put it in the right key i could really you know basically turn a whole make a whole song out of it so the first thing was tuning it obviously let's listen to it one more time so you know he does it all at once he kind of runs everything into each other but if you've heard this song or if you know my version of it it almost sounds like it's just happening too fast like i basically i created the musical phrasing by spacing it out making empty sections and then automating the delay to fill that in, in a way that kind of felt catchy and fun. And then putting it into like a fully auto-tuned, you know, space really made it feel a lot more modern, you know? So let's just run through everything that's happening here. We have this delay, lots of automation. We have the delay, a dry, wet automating. And then we also have what speed the delay is going. So these numbers here correlate to 16th notes, eighth notes, dotted eighth notes, and quarter notes and so on. I'm actually going back and forth between quarter notes and uh, eighth notes. So that's something, something, something. That's actually twice as fast of a delay as the first part, right? That's that's a slower delay. So I'm, I'm going back and forth between quarter notes and eighth notes. Um, I'm also automating the delay to turn on and off because you know, I think that that's a really important thing you can automate in delay, which is if you just leave it on all the time and then you automate the dry wet, you're going to get kind of bleeding because you're going to basically start recording the, the, the dry wet will, it will start to delay out things, even if you're not hearing it. So for instance, like right here, something, something, something. I just wanted that word, something, 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 right? So shout out to something, something, but um, <laughs> it just happened to be what he said. and. I didn't want to capture this part. So let's let me just show you what it would have sounded like if I just left it on the whole time, right? Actually sounded pretty good. Let's see. So you hear how I, I, that time, you know, I started a little earlier and you could hear that it was the delay was kind of capturing not recording but like capturing earlier words besides the something something it was capturing everything ahead of that so when i automated the dry wet to come in you're hearing this stuff from earlier which you know it's a little bit like that's kind of how i started the song was like a little less precise and then i decided you know like why not make it really exact and just automate the delay to only turn on when he says something something um so that's what it ended up with Something, something, something. So. so yeah, the delay turning on at the right spot is really helpful. And yeah, auto-tuning the vocal like definitely makes a huge difference. I'll show you without the auto-tune again. So this is just Antares auto-tune. Um, I figured out we're in F minor. The retune speed is, you know, 
this is basically what I call like going like full T-Pain, right? When you put the retune speed all the way up, you're gonna hear an auto-tuned sound. Sometimes you might w wanna make it a little more human if you're kind of auto-tuning your own voice and you're kind of making it, you wanna be a little more subtle with it. But for this, I just felt like, you know, I just wanted it to be almost like an instrument, like a full auto-tuned sound. So I'll turn it off so you can hear. Little more messy, right? So that, that perfect tuning helps a lot. And then that's just going through an EQ. And yeah, the main thing I wanted to show was just the really precise stuff you can do with the delay when you not only automate the dry wet and the timing of it but also when it turns on because that's a huge piece of it is making it turn on for the exact words or phrases that you want to delay all right so once again just to show you how powerful this delay is i'll, I'll take it away for a sec i'll just delete it and we'll just hear what this would have sounded like with no delay <laughs> So essentially, you know, that's the musical phrase I wanted to create, kind of like breaking up what he said into a longer, you know, full four bars. But I knew that if I use the delay effectively, I could fill in those gaps and, you know, give it life and make it feel like almost like it was on purpose. So once again, with the delay. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching. This has been Great Dane for 343 Labs, and we'll catch you at the next one. Oh,